Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. And for today's video, we are taking a look at the Klein Tools 32584 INS 8-in-1 Insulated Electronic Screwdriver. Now, at the time of filming this video, this is a relatively new release from Klein Tools. And this is a insulated version of their standard 4-in-1 screwdrivers that they have to offer. So this right here is just one of their, one of their standard um, elect small electronic screwdrivers right here. It's a 4-in-1. And you are able to flip it around and get to the other two bits that are stored in this tool as well. Now, enough of that. Let's talk about this tool. So this kit comes with eight different bits. So you get a Phillips double zero and then a Phillips zero. You get a 332nd slotted, an eighth slotted, and then you also get some Torx bits. So you're going to get a T7, a T8, a T10, and a T15 Torx bit. Uh, and this is the screwdriver part itself. Now, if you want to eject the bit, all you have to do is push up on that and ejects the bit. Uh, and then we'll just take a look here at the handle. So you have the Klein Tools name on the grip right there. And I do really like how they include the spinner handle that spinner top on here so you can theoretically hold it in the palm of your hand uh, and turn it which is nice and then you have some of the safety warnings on here uh, you know always keep the tool clean and then Klein does recommend that if the insulation or the orange part on the bits uh, starts to uh, wear through that they want you to destroy the tool um, so there there is that and um, then your mechanism up here as you can see right in there can't really see on the inside but that is your you know your small little mechanism right there uh, and it's a pretty basic size handle. Um, it's decent. It's nice and comfortable in your hands. And then you have your bits right here. So, and then each one of these also has a little, I'm assuming a little part number, just kind of like the eight and one where they all have different individual part numbers. So if you wanted to buy uh, some replacement bits, you can, but these are the uh, part numbers uh, right here. I'm assuming that's the part number right there. And then if you flip the bit over to the other side, you can see your sizes. So this is your Phillips number zero and your eighth inch uh, slotted right there. And then coming to this one, this is going to be your your double zero Phillips and your 332nds uh, flathead right here. Now this is probably my most commonly used size bit right here um, for when I'm doing thermostat work. Uh, this one right here uh, is pretty, pretty common size right here. So this is probably going to be my most used one. And then you also have some of your Torx bits right here. So if you go ahead and flip it over, this is your T10 and your T15, and then this one is going to be your T7 and your T8 uh, torch bits right there. And like I said, uh, the tool is reversible and they relatively slide in fairly easy. And then you, all you have to do is push it out. And if you need to flip sides, you can go ahead and do so. And it does a fairly decent job of holding that in there. I do find sometimes when you do push up on it, it doesn't want to kind of eject that bit um, up all the way. As you see right there, it doesn't want to really eject the bit, but once you push it up, it allows you to pull the tool out. Uh, but other times um, with other bits, as you can see right there, it wants to shoot the bit out of the screwdriver uh, right there. Now, the one cool feature about this kit is it does come with a carrying case right here. So we'll go ahead and zoom the camera out right there. And it is Velcro and it also has this nice Klein logo, a little rubberized logo here on the front, which I really do like a lot. And then when you open it up, you have all the different slots to put your screwdriver in. Uh, so this one right here is where your handle will go. And then you can pretty much set this up however you want to use it. So for me, I'm going to keep my two Phillips, these two Phillips bits, uh, and Phillips and slotted on that side, and then keep the Torx over on this side. Uh, but I'm not going to put it in here right now for the video. Wow, so it is a nice little carrying case that you do get to keep this in uh, fairly decent shape. Uh, so now we'll bring in the handle and we'll bring in the other 14 and one right here. So the handles are almost the same size, but obviously with this one being insulated, it has to be a little bit thicker so that they can put that plastic insulation on the inside so that you don't get shocked. Uh, but they almost are relatively the same size uh, and compared to the four and one, this one you get four more bits with as well. Now it is kind of weird that Klein decided to make a um, screwdriver this small and have it insulated um, because a lot of the times when you're working with um, some terminals and things of that nature this small it's a lot of low voltage um, a lot of low voltage work uh, the main purpose uh, for me to use a screwdriver this small is where like I said working with thermostats uh, they always have little depending on the thermostat they'll either have a small slotted or a zero or double zero Phillips head on the inside uh, to hold the, you know, 24 or 18 gauge wire 
uh, down onto the terminal. Uh, so it is kind of weird that they decided to make a little tiny uh, screwdriver like this and make it insulated, but it does go great, I will say, with their older um, kit as well. Now this is the 32288 uh, kit that they came out with a year or so ago. And it is kind of the same purpose, eight and one, and the bits just kind of lock into there. And you, when you want to change it out, instead of having to push up on it, all you do is turn it to the side and it'll just eject the bit out, which I'm sure was kind of hard to uh, engineer for this one, kind of why they just went with the uh, push mechanism on it. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. So it is, it is kind of nice to have a little precision screwdriver uh, with an insulated handle to go with your bigger size screwdriver. Uh, like I said, this is the, I believe the product number for this kit is 32288. And again, that comes with a case and it comes with eight bits as well. Uh, so overall, this is definitely a nice little addition from Klein Tools. And it is relatively new at the time of filming this video. Uh, and currently at the time of filming this video, it is only available at Home Depot right now. There's not really any information on Klein's website regarding this tool as of yet. Uh, so I'm sure in, you know, a few weeks and or a month, it'll be up on the Klein website. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of their other retailers will also carry this tool as well. Uh, just for right now, it's I've only been able to find it at Home Depot. So if you are looking to pick one of these up for yourself, uh, check out... Uh, check out Home Depot. You can either look in store or you can go onto their website and see if they have it uh, in stock at your store. Uh, now, sometimes it says the store has it in stock, but you're not gonna be able to find it on the floor or on the shelf itself. You're either gonna have to hunt around for it to see if you can find it, or what I like to do uh, with these newer client tools, when it says my store has them in stock, I like to order it online uh, for in-store pickup and then that way you know the people in the store have to go and find the tool and then all you have to do is go to the store and go to the uh, either the customer counter or the the pickup lockers and you're able to go pick it up right there and you don't have to hunt for a tool as well uh, but that being said that's all I have for this video so if you have any questions comments concerns please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and if you're new to the channel and you like tool reviews please consider hitting that subscribe button uh, but that's all I have for this video so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded